Hello, it's Tony Rooney here, and today, well, this is video that's basically gonna go over all the different things that's been happening in the pod community. It has been a minute since I uploaded a video, so I haven't really got to discuss the different things that's been going on in our lovely community of COD. Now, as you guys all know, the great ban in January was it January? I think it was the Great Ban of January, where Infinity Ward actually decided to ban a lot of its players because they glitch keys during the little Christmas holiday uh, giveaway thing that they were giving us, where they were giving us free guns and keys and salvage and all that different stuff. Well, apparently there was. A little glitch you could do to get extra keys and you could use those keys to unlock all the things you know they had in the, the quartermaster you could and not the quartermaster but the prototype lab you can use your salvage or your keys and all that different stuff to um, just get everything and that's what the people who glitched the keys and they basically got everything that was all the guns um, all the camo just everything that they wanted so Infinity War decided to ban these people, right? And that's all they did. They banned them and they reset their salvage and their keys. But at that point, like that matters, they had gotten everything out of the game. The ban kind of was stupid. It's that it, more people felt that these people should have had their everything that they had reset because you keeping them from playing the game for two days is just retarded. Especially when you're trying to do this because you're pissed off that they glitched in these keys to unlock extra stuff, right? But, uh, the ban was what they decided to, to do. But I, I have read, um, on Charlie Intel that they're still thinking about punishing these people even further. But, I mean, you've already punished them. Um, you should have thought about this before. And, uh, yeah, so it kind of is over, right? All right, so the ban came before the great update. The great update was where they were going to give us hundreds upon hundreds of different items. And we were all going to be happy because we were getting more guns. We were going to get more camos and everything like that. Well, technically, they, they really didn't deliver on this promise. Um, basically, what they did was give us a whole bunch of uh, camos that were based off their emblems and calling cards that they've already created so this is a, a little bit of uh, uh, laziness on their part because you've already created these things only thing you're doing is basically stretching them over our guns but you kind of didn't do that right all right they didn't they didn't even look good on the guns um you couldn't tell what it was you like you got a big tiger and you you're like oh i'm gonna have this tiger on my gun it's gonna look amazing you can't even tell that's a tiger it's just pretty colors and uh that was you know that's why it it was just bad i they really did not put any effort into really designing this update uh but we were we were supposed to be happy about this the weapons they only gave us about five new uh weapon variants like new weapon variants that we've never seen before the rest of the guns that they gave us is basically guns that they've already given us from the start all right these were the mark ii class weapons all right the mark ii class weapons were weapons that had a nice camo um i guess they they've seen how much everybody loved dark matter well, not everybody. I'm sure some people didn't like it, but a lot of people love Dark Matter, the Dark Matter camo for Black Ops 3, and I guess they're like, well, we're going to give everybody something like that, and that's what they gave us with the Mark II class weapons. It was a nice little camo, hectagon looking shapes, um, they moved and everything like that, but again, it's the same weapon you already had when the game first came out the prototype weapons okay these are the same weapons the only thing that's different is it gives you 15 percent more xp now me personally i have several mark ii class weapons i do not use them 
what other people do or you might just use them because it's a gun that you wanted that you haven't got out of the prototype out of the prototype lab so you just use it just because but uh for me it 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 really make no difference to me but um if you i guess if you're one of those people that's just grinding to try and get to master prestige max level then that's probably a gun for you to use but like i said me personally i i don't so i look at it as it's just it was kind of pointless and stupid because you know it, at least in the prototype lab you, you can use your salvage to unlock the guns with these guns you actually have to be lucky with the supply drops to get them out of you know so uh, it, uh, it, it was just I, I, I didn't really understand why they did this to us but you know this is the company that that told us when the game first came out that we were going to have the most guns this game was going to have the most guns in any call of duty and to be honest is that's not true technically it would be Treyarch, Treyarch with Black Ops 3, till this day they're still releasing new content, new guns, and it's like wow, you know, this game is two years old at this point, and you're still giving us stuff, snuff, you're still giving us stuff, that's amazing, and um, so, it, it's really it's crazy when you look at it like that. Uh, the next thing that was huge that came out was leaderboards. They finally gave us leaderboards after about four months. Yeah, the game's been out for about four months and they now decided to give us leaderboards. But the problem with the leaderboards is uh, it, it, it looks like they're trying to hide something. And what it looks like they're trying to hide is how many people are actually playing this game. Because the leaderboard only goes to the first 10,000 people. And they stated this on their Twitters and Facebook. That's what they want. It's just to show off the first 10,000 people. Everybody else that's played this game, you're, if you're not in the first 10,000, you're just put in a percentile group. So, uh, accomplished. I think that's ridiculous when all other Call of Duty games, they actually let you see the leaderboard in its entirety so you can see well i'm ranked one million or whatever and uh that's why it's like they're trying to hide something they're really trying to hide how many people play this game and technically that's basically because you know they're basically trying to say that um it i guess from i, I want to look at it from a business perspective okay so from a business perspective, you know, uh, I read a few articles for the game came out when they released that trailer. The trailer got so much dislike that their um, shareholders were really looking at them like, what the heck's going on, you know? And basically, shareholders are the people that give up money so that they can be able to make their game, you know? They, they split the cash so that they can be able to do whatever it is that they need to do to make this wonderful game that they make. Alright, so... Uh, basically, the shareholders were told that uh, the reason that there was so much dislike on that video was because nobody, like, the community has gotten tired of the exosuits and the jumpings and thrusters and all, all that stuff. And they, we just wanted boots on the ground. But they said because they packaged the deal with MWR and everything that people were still going to buy the game and that people were going to still play the game and that basically the shareholders didn't need to worry about their money being lost. Well, and uh, despite all that, what they said isn't true. Uh, people still didn't want the game. People still didn't buy the game even during the Christmas time where they hoped that the sales would go up and more people would start playing. A lot of people didn't buy the game even for Christmas. So them letting their shareholders know how many people are actually playing the game is kind of like a bad move and on their behalf because that means some people might need to lose their jobs at this point because one you lie to us two uh you know they're trying to make this excuse like they didn't have time to change this game when technically they knew we didn't like the exosuit thing with advanced warfare but 
you know, we knew that Treyarch was going to release a exosuit based game because they technically really didn't have any time. When Advanced Warfare was released for them, they've already been working on their game for two years. But Treyarch, I'm not Treyarch, but Infinity War has been working on their game for one year. And so they did have time to kind of change the code a little bit. But, you know, I don't work there. I, you know, I don't know who management was or uh, who told them that, you know, just go ahead with it. You know, they'll love it or whatever. I, I don't know. And technically, I think a lot of more people would probably love the game, even though it has the little jetpack movements and everything, if the game was made. Uh, a lot better than it was like there was a little bit more consistency in it than there actually is you know uh when the game first came out people were pissed off with the fact that you shoot first die first situations now i must admit um as the time has went on the game has become a lot better than it was um the hit detection has gotten a little bit better you still have those moments where you do shoot first and die first but it's not as bad as it used to be um, they actually have put some things in the, on the, uh, game, like, uh, game health. It lets you know if the server you're on is actually a good server as far as how you connect to it. And so that will let you know if you need to back out or not. It's a good indicator if you're playing against, like, if you were, you're shooting somebody, but your bullets seem to just disappear and they drop you. If you actually look at the kill cam, you can actually see um, that they were lagging or they, you know, you can look at the kill cam and see what's going on. And I'm actually going to put out a video basically showing uh, these game health indicators. I actually have some pretty good gameplay of it. It was the worst lobby I've ever been in from playing this game. I've never lagged that bad before. But, um... You know they're they're trying. I have to give them that they are trying. Um, but I'm like a majority of everyone. I don't think this is one of the best Call of Duty I've ever played. But I do play it because I'm a COD fan. You know I I I like the score streaks and stuff. And you can't get that on Battlefield. And the, the score streaks you get on Titanfall is just not what I'm looking for. I don't want a big robot. I want to be able to call in a helicopter and stuff like that. So. This is the game that I started playing with, so um, I actually, I just like this game. So, um, I play it because of that reason. And, um, they, it's just, they, they have to work on a lot of different stuff. Even the people that they used to rely on to help promote their games, like these big COD YouTubers, they're actually turning their back on the game. They don't want to make videos um, for this game because they look at it as the game is not made well. They don't like, they don't enjoy playing this game. And that's really sad because, you know, they were the ones that got a lot of us into playing these different types of games. Um, you see them having fun. You see them going on huge streaks. And you, you know, you set that as a goal for yourself. I'm going to try to do this. You may or may not ever achieve it, but you see that they had so much fun doing it. And you look at that, you could probably have the same amount of fun doing the same thing. So with them not wanting to play this game, it, it's, it's really hurting the community even more. It's like, how are you going to get even more people to be interested in this game when top um, YouTubers that, I mean, this is what their channel got started with. This is all they did. This is, they only play Call of Duty and they don't want to play your new game. They'd rather go back and play your old games. They'd rather go back and play Black Ops 3 and, you know, things like that. It's, it's a bad sign for this game, honestly. But, um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure I probably rambled on enough, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video, leave a comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. What you really want to play? Man, I swear they play anything you want to play. All you got to do is send in your requests, and I guarantee by watching they'll take you on the quest. Gunslinger girls, gunslinger girls. Come on, everybody join the gunslinger girls. Gunslinger girls, gunslinger girls. Come on, everybody join the guns to the girls. Guns to the girls. Guns to the girls. Come on.
Come on, everybody join the gunslinger girls. Gunslinger girls. Gunslinger girls. Come on, everybody join the gunslinger girls.